This is a review on how to find the area of a regular polygon. Here we have a regular heptagon, which means we have seven sides. And the perimeter for this problem, we're going to say, is 350. If we know the perimeter, and we know that it's a regular polygon, we can find the length of each side by just taking the perimeter, which in our case is 350, and dividing it by the number of sides, in our case 7, and we get the length of each side. So for this heptagon, each side is 50 units long. Our next step is to cut our polygon into a bunch of triangles. And in theory, these are all supposed to be exactly congruent, but Obviously, I can't draw, so it doesn't look like that. But these are congruent triangles. And we have to find the measurement of each one of these central angles. Since there are just as many central angles as sides, we do 360, because that's how many degrees there are in a circle, and divide that by the number of central angles. And we get about 51 point. 429 degrees. We can use this to help us find the area of one of these seven triangles. All we have to do is draw in an altitude, and that gives us two right triangles. And I'm going to draw one of our right triangles a little bit bigger over here so it's more clear. This side right here is congruent to this side. Since the whole side of the heptagon is 50, this little piece right here is half of that, or 25. And since the whole angle, the whole central angle, is 51.429, the angle on the right triangle is half that, which is about 25.714 degrees. Now, we use this angle and this length measurement to find the height of our right triangle. And that is just a simple tan problem. So the tangent of the 25.714 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 25, over the height. And we solve that by typing in 25 divided by tangent of 25.714, and we get a height of about 51.913. So now we have the height of the triangle, and we have the base of the triangle. We can use that to find the area of the right triangle here. So the area is equal to 1 half times the height, which is 51.913, times the base, which is 25. And that again is the area. So the area of the right triangle ends up being 648.913. That is, if I'm coloring it in here, the area of one of these right triangles. Now notice, there are two right triangles here. So, to find the area of one of these triangles that we split the original shape into, 
it's really 2 times the 648.913. And once we get that, since it's a heptagon, and we split into seven equal triangles, we multiply that number by seven. So our total area of the, uh, we'll call it a seven down here because I can't draw it, is about 9,040, or 84, excuse me, 0. 0.781, So 9,084.781. And if your numbers are a little off on mine, it's because I did not round anywhere when I was using the calculator. So although I route, wrote down rounded numbers in here to three decimal places, in the calculator I stored everything, so everything is exact. So our answers might be a little off. But in any case, this is the general procedure for finding the area of any regular polygon. First, you figure out what the side length is. Then you split it into a bunch of triangles. Third, you calculate a central angle. Fourth, you draw in an altitude. And you know that this side is half the original side and this angle is half the original central angle. You use that to find the height of the triangle. And once you have the height and the base, you can calculate the area of a right triangle. The right triangle times two gives the area of one of the uh, original triangles you split it into. And then the area of this bigger triangle times the number of sides gives the area for the whole polygon.